And this morning, she's taking us to the Florida State Fair. It opens today at the fairgrounds in Hillsborough County. Lila Gross is live there this morning. Lila, lots of fun stuff to do and see out there. Good morning to you both. That's exactly right. The Florida State Fair kicks off today. Gates open at 10 a.m. and there's tons of fun stuff going on here. I'm going to introduce you to the hypnotist Tyson right now. You're one of the acts here at the Florida State Fair. How I excited am. are you to be here? Super excited. First time here. It's going to be great, right? It's going to be a great show. So yeah. I hear you have some magic to show us this morning. Yeah, I do magic in my show. So yeah, I thought I'd bring a little bit of that uh, and a little hypnosis too. We're going to hypnotize you just a little bit, not okay. too much. So I'll do a little magic here. Uh, that there is called a Russian shuffle. <laughs> not because it's from Russia, but they rush in after each other. But uh, okay. this is the trick Fast here. All the, yeah, all the cards shuffled right here. We're going to just have you uh, call stop anywhere you like. Stop. Right there. Cool. I want you to take your card that you stopped at, look at it, memorize it. You got it memorized. You could show okay, it to the ready? viewers there. Got it? Everybody All done? right, place it back inside yeah, the deck there. All right. The now, I'm going to attempt to read your mind. little technology here. Hand in hand. Let's go hand in hand. And uh, I want you to pass that, that card that you have in your mind through my hand. Okay. And watch. Now watch. 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 Is that your card right there? Yeah. Is that it right there? Did you see that? What? No. <laughs> She's so excited. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh, the what? Two of clubs. It's your card. Wow. Yeah. There you go. Some great technology there you got. Techno magic, you know? So, that is cool. Um, so uh, that's a bit of magic that I do in the show. Not particularly that trick, but other okay. tricks. Uh, and to show you the power of hypnosis, and it's a cool thing. We get people on stage. We hypnotize and make them do a bunch of crazy things. Uh, I'll show you a, a mild suggestibility test. And the viewers okay. at home, are, and follow, you can follow as well in the studio. Um, it's simple. You just take your two hands, place them together. This is going to be a suggestibility test. So I'm okay. going to give you an idea, and I want you to imagine what I'm telling you is real. Gilmark, uh, are you doing it? Yes. Yeah, we're yeah, doing it. We're all doing your fingers, it. Take your index fingers, point them up like that, and I'll make a space between your fingers. Now look at the space between your fingers, and just just imagine that your fingers are magnets. Look at that space. Oh, and imagine oh, they're oh, magnets. We're going oh. to pull closer yeah. and closer <laughs> and closer together. And the more you stare, the more they're going to magnetize. And imagine rubber bands maybe oh wrapping around the tips of those fingers. I'll separate. You see the move? Did it happen for you guys? Yes. No. No, let's do it. Yeah. Mine are like magnets. Incredible. That's the acceptance of suggestion of the subconscious mind. Hypnosis is not mind control. It's the acceptance of suggestion. Because your subconscious mind is very suggestible, but it's also very playful. So the show is super fun, interactive, and yeah. That's awesome. Time. Well, you guys can come check it out for yourself. Gates open at 10 a.m. this morning, and we'll be here till February 18th. Gail Marco, back to you. That's wow. awesome. I don't know if I can finish the show. I'm still kind of in a daze. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> to... Which we'll is usual. I can finish the show. <laughs> All right, well, there's a, here's a story that's getting quite that a cool. bit of buzz. Bees... They can do math. Yeah. So you heard this correctly. Bees can do math. According to a study in the journal uh, Science Advances, honeybees, they recognize colors as symbols for addition and subtraction. In an experiment using mazes to test the bees' ability to add and subtract, bees got the answers right 63 to 72% of the time. I wish I did that well in school. Wow. Bees are doing pre calculus. Busy bees. Yeah, right? I'm real skeptical of this. Really? Sixty-five yeah. percent of the time. What? I, mean, I would like... replace Punxsutawney Phil with the bees. Yeah, he's only frankly. right thirty percent of the time. Right. <laughs> Little-known fact: calculators made of bee parts. Yeah. Really? Yeah. No. Uh, <laughs> I was like, what? Uh, by pollen? Yeah, <laughs>